Crackdown 3 was fun and underrated. Okay, but Crackdown 3, which I never played, so I, I don't really know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I, of course, know what it is. And Crackdown 3, I'm almost certain, is the is, is the video I, I made that got Phil Spencer to block me for a time. Doom Slayer says, what? Phil blocked you? He did back in the day. And I think it's because I, you know, I hired the guy, Mel McMurrin, who did the voice of Calypso, and I did a new Twisted Metal 2 ending for our Halloween special, where Phil Spencer wins Twisted Metal. This had all, you know, it had shitty animation I did, but it had the actual audio uh, of Mel, brand new dialogue I wrote. And um, basically, he won Twisted Metal, and I, I forget what he wanted, but the, the twist was Calypso trapped him in the world. I think what it was is he wanted to win the console war. And the console war, so Xbox won the console war, but the war took a toll and everybody was killed and everyone was destroyed. And very much like that famous Burgess Meredith episode of The Twilight Zone, only video game that was left was Crackdown 3. So Phil was left all alone and all he could do was play Crackdown 3. And I think Phil was like, you're an asshole. You're insulting the team. Fuck you. And he blocked me. It was fun, though. I'm a, I'm a little stinker. Come on now. That's the new sound, but I'm a little stinker. Um, I just like to play. Come on. I'm a rascal. I'm a trickster character. Come on now. The head of Xbox himself, Phil Spencer, leapt from rooftop to rooftop, pushing his neon green sports car to the limit. He had won the Twisted Metal competition, and thus, he was coming to claim any prize his heart desired. I won Calypso, and as my prize, I demand you make Xbox the winner of the console wars. Ah, my dear Philip, your wish is granted. <laughs> Phil had gotten his wish. Xbox had won the console war. But since console wars are not actually real, and are only something that 11-year-old children and stunted man-babies care about, in order to fulfill Phil's wish, I had to create a console war. And so I did. <laughs> The bloody battle raged for six years with countries battling countries, executives battling executives, and gamers taking up arms against one another. It was glorious. And in that great war, the last war ever fought on Earth, the mighty PlayStation nation was soundly defeated. You get the logo right there? Didn't see that. Yeah, so the sun is... He's gonna run over it. He's gonna run over it with the star. Yes. What the fuck? Go, 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 go. Oh, you mid. Oh, my. Oh, God. shit, he got it. But all wars come at a cost. And all wars eventually end. This one was no different. When it was over, everyone on the planet was dead. Except for Phil, of course. I had to make sure he survived so he could claim his prize. And there he sits still, all alone. The winner, the king of the console wars. And exactly as promised, Xbox had won. But since everyone was dead, no new games could be created. Halo, it seems, would never be finished. And since all the game stops and digital online stores had been destroyed in the battle, there was no way to buy or download a game. And thus, all Phil has to play is what was already installed on his Xbox when the war began. <laughs> Crack Down 3. Oh my, the poor bastard stuck playing Crack Down 3 forever. <laughs> oh well, at least it now runs at 60 frames per second. <laughs>
I am Calypso, and I welcome you to the Gabin and Games Halloween Special. Thank you.